flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Terry's Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And me, as an astrologer, I'm starting to see a big misrepresentation when it comes to astrology, especially in the conscious community, right? And people are utilizing astrology in the wrong way. So, you know, I'm here to rectify things a little bit so we can get a little clear understanding so we don't get lost into these things. Astrology is not what you do. Astrology is how you do something. I repeat. Astrology is not what you do, it's how you do something. So astrology is not presenting scenarios in your life. You're the one manifesting these scenarios in your life based upon your state of being. But how you deal with these scenarios in your life determines the influences. For an example, you could be a Gemini. I'm an Aries. Now, key word, astrology is not what you do, it's how you do it. So whatever, key word, what? Whatever me and you as a Gemini or you as a Libra or you as a Leo, whatever we doing, we could be doing the same thing. But how we do that task determines the energy influences. See what I'm saying? For an example, right? I'm an Aries. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Cancer. You could be a Scorpio, right? Say we all in a group. We all in a pack and we all schizophrenic. <clears throat> We all schizophrenic in this motherfucker, right? We all need pills and medication in this motherfucker. Now, what we are is all the same goddamn thing. We all schizophrenic in this motherfucker, right? But how we be schizophrenic determines the energy. So, for the most part, me being an Aries, I might be a passionate schizophrenic. You being a Gemini, you may be a communicative schizophrenic. You being a Pisces, you may be a passive schizophrenic. You being a Scorpio, nobody might not even really know you schizophrenic. Yo ass know how to hide it real good. See, but what we doing is being schizophrenic. But how we do it determines the energy signature. So, what is my purpose of this video, right? Here's the big misrepresentation that I'm getting within the astrology and people utilizing it within the conscious community, right? People are taking their astrology or their NATO alignment, right? And making it to a point that it's like, this is what they're doing. But they don't understand that astrology is how you doing something. So if your ass is schizophrenic, your ass schizophrenic. That has nothing to do with your astrological chart. Your astrological chart shows how you deal with schizophrenic energy. You see what I'm saying? You just being schizophrenic is because your spirit is in a certain space. You see what I'm saying? You being evil is just because your spirit is in a certain space. You being happy is just because your spirit is in a certain space. You know what I'm saying? Now, I am an astrologer, so I do thousands of readings. So for the most part, I know numerous of people who got fucked up charts, but that doesn't determine them being happy throughout their day. And I know people who got beautiful charts and still deal with frustration on not knowing what direction to go into their life as far as careers and goals. So for the most part, once you start to understand and gain a little bit of wisdom and knowledge, you start to understand and be able to decipher that astrology is not what you do. It's how you do something. So if you are a fucked up individual, you just a fucked up individual. But how you be a fucked up individual determines your NATO alignment. Then that's when you could talk about that. One second. Now, now if you're an evil motherfucker and you manifest a lot of other evil motherfuckers, then all y'all just motherfucking evil. That shit ain't got nothing to do with your astrological energies and your NATO chart. You see what I'm saying? You need to understand that shit. Y'all just a bunch of evil motherfuckers. Now, if we want to start talking about y'all NATO charts and shit, then we can, start, we can start deciphering how each one of y'all motherfuckers is evil. So, for the most part, if one motherfucker might be a Sagittarius, this might be a wise evil motherfucker. One, a Scorpio, this might be a secret e evil motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? The fucking Libra... Maybe a, a fucking relatable or sex demon in this mother or Jezebel in this motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? If it's a, a goddamn um, Virgo, this may be an analytical or impractical and and uh, make shit work ass motherfucker, evil motherfucker. Motherfucker just know how to put things together. And you you sleep with fucking gas and your ass will never wake up type of evil motherfucker dealing with a goddamn evil ass Virgo. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, that's when we start to talk about your astrological chart and, and your reading and shit and how you're influencing these motherfucking state of beings that you in. But the space that you in, that's your spirit. So you need to pay attention to what you're manifesting in your life because what you're manifesting in your life has nothing to do with your NATO alignment. What you're manifesting in your life is actually your state of being. Now, your NATO alignment is how you deal with these things. For an example, it's, it's clear as day. Your sun, your solar plexus, that's your actions, your sun sign. That's your actions, how you act, how you see things. 
what you're consciously aware of. So, and what other people see from you. So for the most part, your sun sign ain't putting you in situations. Your sun sign is how you deal with situations. So for the most part, when you start to experience and when you start to attract and manifest the spiritual state of being that you are in, if you're a positive, negative person, if you're a high vibrational person, low vibrational person, whatever type of state of being you're in, a wise um, or, or, or a vulgar or, or uh, a criticism or a judgmental, there's all, kind of, uh, there's all kind of spaces out here for your spirit to be in, motherfucker. But like what I'm trying to tell you, you see what I'm saying? For we can break it down simple. Wherever your state of being is at, that's first. Then you start creating chakras and lights in that space. Then we get to see what you're manifesting out of that space. Now, whatever you manifest from being in that state of being, we're going to see how you deal with that. And how you deal with that, now we get to your astrological energies, right? Now we start to see your sun sign. Okay, we about to see how this person act in a situation. Now we see your moon sign. Okay, now we about to see how this person react and, and how, this, who this person truly is and the, their vulnerability. Now we're going to look at Mercury. Oh, let's see how this person think. Let's see how this person talking in this situation. Now we're going to see your Venus. Oh, let's see what this person loved and appreciated out of that and valued out of that for them to even manifest that, situa that situation in their life in the first place. Now let's look at the Mars. Oh, this, this is a person's intentions. Uh, Meanings and uh, uh, passions and motivations. Oh, so this was this person's true intentions. Now let's look at a person's Jupiter. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so this was what they was experiencing in their life. And this was the meanings and reasons they was putting behind shit in order to come to that conclusion in the first place. Now let's get to a fucking person Saturn. Oh, this how they, this how they made that reality. You know what I'm saying? This how they built that in their goddamn life. Now let's look at the houses. Oh, okay. Let's see what area of life uh, these people is drawing this energy from. That's, that's when you get to astrology. But... You being in that circumstance and situation in the first place, that was you. That ain't got shit to do with nothing else but you. Now, what we can see is how you deal with it. So now we see your NATO alignment. And some people just got dumbass NATO alignments to the point that the way that they handle circumstances and situations is dumb. <laughs> Because we can see it off their lights, their chakras, their influences, their NATO alignment, right? So, but that doesn't determine them being in that circumstance or situation in the first place. Do you get me? There's thousands of people in jail. There's thousands of people homeless. All of them ain't got the same NATO alignment. <laughs> they all got different NATO alignments. Look, a homeless motherfucker just homeless because he homeless. <laughs> that shit ain't got nothing to do <laughs> with, no, with no energetic forces. <laughs> hey, y'all be taking me sometimes. Y'all motherfuckers be taking me sometimes. Look, look. It got nothing to do with that. You, you kind of slow. You ain't got it all upstairs. Man, it ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> That's you. Now, how we see you deal with that. Now, we can start to talk about your data alignment. You did. So, for the most part, you got to understand that. Work, think about your state of being first. What space is you in? That's most important. Don't sit here and create a space that you know you ain't in. You're going to just create, manif you're just going to keep manifesting and creating scenarios that remind you you wasn't in the space that you actually want to be in. Obviously, you wouldn't have had no frustration in the first place. See what I'm saying? So, we need frustrations to b become more minor. You know, so you need to understand astrology is not what you do, it's how you do something. So don't be blaming your circumstances and your situations on astrology, because I am an astrologer. So that's not how it works. You see what I'm saying? Astrology is how you do something. You know what I'm saying? You growing up in a fucked up circumstance or situation, we all did. Michael Jordan did, everybody. But guess what Michael Jordan did? He utilized his chart to get to point A to point B. He didn't sit there and look at his chart and said, this was the reason I'm fucked up. He looked, he probably didn't even look at his chart, but he just naturally jumped into his energies because he probably wasn't lost in any type of light forms or anything of that nature. But for the most part, this is what you need to understand. You put yourself, you manifested everything in your life. You brought that to you. Now, how you deal with it is the chakras you created for yourself, the spaceship you created for yourself. To sustain through this astral travel, a.k.a. to go through these experiences. So these are your tools. 
Your tools ain't do nothing to you. Your tools ain't slap you in the face. Your tools ain't put you in no fucked up circumstance. No, no. You drove there yourself in that spaceship. Your spaceship wasn't on auto drive and put you through a bunch of astral travels you couldn't really handle. A.K.A. circumstances and situations. Your spaceship didn't auto drive you there. No, you made that spaceship and you drove there. Now, if you drove there as a spirit in that solar system, in that spaceship, if you drove to a space that was uncomfortable yourself, that was your fault. But that was your, you bought that spaceship. Nobody told you could have went and got a better spaceship. You could have got one with a CD player. You could have got one with motherfucker, uh, uh, but the location and shit like that and, and motherfucker be able to go wherever you go and, and never get lost and shit like that. You could have had all kind of, you could have got the new up to, up to date spaceship, but you choose not to. So when you go, when you have a spaceship and then you go into a space that's uncomfortable, that get washed over and your spaceship start to get damaged. Don't blame your spaceship. <laughs> don't blame your solar system. Don't blame your NATO alignment. <laughs> Don't blame your egos. You you created that. Don't blame your egos. How you gonna how you gonna have a spaceship fly to a space that's uncomfortable and blame your spaceship for being there? That's like that's like you wanting to go to McDonald's and you drive your car to McDonald's and your car fuck up on the way to McDonald's and you blame your car for for giving you the idea to go to McDonald's. Nigga, no, you went to McDonald's because your true state of being was hungry. And you was too lazy to cook or something. So your true state of being was like, I want to go to McDonald's. So you manifest a situation, and your car fucked up. Now what? <laughs> Don't blame the car. <laughs> and that's the same how it looks when you blame your NATO alignment on your trial and tribulations. You're supposed to utilize your, your NATO alignment to get out of your trial and tribulations. These things remind you on what to do on what not to do. What to take with you and, and what to not take with you. What to attach to you and what to detach. These things are not putting the, the, the circumstance in. Mother, these, these things ain't telling you when to be happy, when to be sad, when to be upset. The, the motherfucking NATO alignment ain't got nothing to do with that. It's when you act on these things, then we get to the NATO alignment. You see what I'm saying? Now we can see how you be happy. But being happy, we can all be happy. No matter what NATO alignment we got. We can all be sad. We can all be angry. But how we be angry. How we be happy. Then that's when we get to the NATO alignment. You see what I'm saying? So if you just kind of retarded and kind of slow the fucked up head, that shit ain't got nothing to do with your solar system. You stop motherfuckers blaming, it and blaming shit on NATO alignments. Motherfucking flight boss, bitch. Goddamn air.